Yo, what up, guys? Rocky210. What up, everybody? Alrighty. Woo! It's finally have come. We actually gonna try out the Rodotica pretty quick or whatever the fuck it is. We're gonna get down with it, guys. Alright? Let's, let's just fucking do it. Let's fucking do it. So, this game, this game is pretty, pretty, pretty interesting because due to the fact that it's a, it's like a hacking kind of game, but then it's 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 sneaking, and then it's very story driven a little bit. You know, you just gotta get into it. But it's a uh, Republic Quick, Republic Quick or whatever, Peak Peak, Fun Quick, whatever the fuck it is. But you know, it's a good, it's uh, it's pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting. Uh, we're gonna see how it is and show you how it is at the end of it. But I'll tell you how I, my thoughts so far. You know, with this game. I'm gonna delete the save I had. I'm gonna just uh, restart from the beginning and show you what's going on, and really implant a thought in your brain if this game is really worth it, really worth the uh, the 20 smacks, you know what I mean? But some people, some people are really interested in this shit. And I actually messed up. That actually, it's a, it's actually a ring. But. Uh, so far as I have played this game, it's pretty uh, elaborate, and you know it's a little bit complex and some stuff, but it's really, really. St Do you see me? Stealth Wait. driven. Please, I need your help. I don't have much time. They want to erase me. They want to erase who I am. They're coming. Here we go. So it, this is weird. It's just it's called like the all seeing eye, and everyone's Who like, "Who the pages you know, of this fucking... manifesto? This is a disaster. This is poison. Who fed you this poison? It was the librarian, wasn't it? That snake. How did nobody see these being distributed? I don't know. Anyways, the all seeing eye. Oh man. It's pretty. It's pretty interesting. It's a hacking game, you know. You you do find everybody, you know, and you do do your things. It's 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 pretty interesting, you know. It's pretty interesting. You could look up bio. You could do a lot of other shit. And Cooper is that guy right there. She's gonna be making relations to Cooper. While this girl, I don't know who the fuck is she is. The mentor, Jennifer Hale. You know, uh, borderline dissociative, dissociative, and identity disorder. Look at that. French. Look at that good stuff. Cyber death and insubordination. It, it tells you, like, it tells you the charges they have, but yet they're, they seem like they're working for some, like, company, cult, government. Who fucking knows? It's fucking crazy shit. And it, it, it kind of, like, when you see the disc, and I, I did the other video about that, but you see Illuminati on it. I like the symbol on it so it's pretty interesting how this is like actually wrapped around it so we're just gonna have to play a little bit through and then just you know from my perspective if it's really worth it or not Get but some water. I kind of have my idea of it sovereign water from the commissary go Here we go. Here we go. All right, look, there's another camera over there. Alrighty. Interesting, interesting. All right, here we go. Not the defaced manifesto. Where is it? Hold on, I think I think this would be a better. Tell me, or I'll tell uh, them. <sighs> but you are them. Yeah, this is pretty interesting. It, it, this is actually five episodes of this shit, so I it's a, it's a really big in story, you know what I mean? And, uh, is it? and it's really actually interactive. It's not, not like those fucking Telltale games that uh, you have to just click this, click that, oh my god, it's or not whatever. Like that, you know. I can handle this click hell myself. It looks interesting. Look, I need to know if someone's poisoning the food and water supply in this place. I am talking about this, you idiot. Poison for the... Mind. It's just a manifesto. Not just. It's been contaminated. 
these are the worlds of Zago. Zago is dead. But I guess we could dig. This guy's up. getting his info. There's a goldfish there. Let me see if you zoom in. What? Hey, hey That's there, goldfish. Enough. Hello. My yeah, name is Bob. Found reading contraband. Holy shit, there's Third some shit offense. on the table. We can't read it for shit. I didn't read anything. Okay. There's candles. There's fucking a fan. Fuck the fan. And then there's more books. My authority. Fine. And then there's Just this chick. Before the, arrival. And watch your step. the graphics here, I have to say, though, I have, I have to say, for it's for the time of, you know, for PS4 and all that shit, it's, uh, it's pretty decent. The mechanics, though, like, her walking, it's like, it looks like she looks, she's sick or something. But, um... You ever shut up? Let me see what else. But then, you know, the graphics on some parts, like, on the, on the, on the characters are kind of pasty. Bring her a you know blanket. I mean? I don't want her freezing to death before tomorrow. And the way she's walking, like, the way he's walking, it's kind of funny because they all walk like that. It's weird. <sighs> but, um... Interesting. Hurry up. But then, you know, this is this is for my developer of of who made the. There we go. Holy shit! Already. Already. I don't know what the fuck. I guess it went cutscene on me. I guess. Yeah, because uh, like um, I I looked into it and uh, the original game was on an app. It was an app game, and uh, it was on Android, I think, and, and uh, iPhone. I think it was on iPhone, too. But uh, it was interesting. It's, uh, it had, like, so many hits, and it got good reviews, so I just wanted to check it out. And it came on PS4. You know, they gave them, I guess, a lot more, more space and, you know, more spectrum to breathe in to the, due to the fact that the power of the PS4 and all that. You know, um, this is really, like, conspiracy. Good this evening, is really citizen. good stuff in so this game, but I've been playing so far and been hearing about reading to the backstory a little bit but uh it's pretty uh pretty cool you know graphic wise i'm not a graphic person i'm really not you know as long as it's not fucking like fucking stupid looking like it's not like ps2 ps3 kind of graphics and you know, it's a step up you know like this what it is right now what it's doing all this walking around and everything you know, I don't, I don't care about the characters, like, you know, shit, I'm, you know, if you're gonna shoot them, you're gonna fucking shoot them, but it's, uh, doing his thing, and look at that shit, look at the, the all-seeing eye, look at that shit, see, I'm telling you, fucking shit around here, your property, blah, 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 this mimeo apostate will be dealt with in the same manner as the one who inspired him, there you go, you got slop and shit, and you got look, out for our republic. This guy, like, look, look up close with that guy. Even the book itself, see, that's the, that's like the opening trailer, <laughs> the fucking title to the game. It's fucking weird, but um, the public. And this is episode one, ex extra, ex durium, ex durium, whatever the fuck. Oh man. Here we go. There we go. See, it's just, it's pretty interesting stuff. Like, I, I don't know, I wish you could move into the eyes and shit. I want to see the eyes. But I think it's just like a stationary camera, so you can't really do nothing. She's probably watching me now. Oh, man. But I have to give it to the mechanics though, like this whole thing right here, and then boom, zap. You know what I mean? It's just, it's fucking interesting. Can you see me? You can see me in there. Yeah. What? What's the difference? All right, look at that. There's no way you can help me from there. Fucking cell is crazy. Just another pair of eyes watching. You're just another another pair. Holy shit! All right, so here we go. We're gonna do the eye, and then we're gonna fucking do the the hack. It's pretty interesting stuff. Did you do that? Did 
you open the door? All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, here's the interesting part. Here's the interesting part right here. Uh, this is like something that I didn't expect, but um, uh, I don't know what other games have done this, so but um, found a way into this place. she, you know, is trying like uh, trying to escape. But here's the co the kind of cool thing you know you can do. You could get her to to move by herself. Like you can move the character. Okay, what the hell happened? I guess a cutscene. Here we go. All right, so yeah, she can hide and you can move. See, like you move, use the right analog stick to uh, control the camera. You change the view and see that's the room you were just in. That's another door. And what I notice is if you see the um the Omni version point five. Okay, that's a other that's a more upgraded version of the program, I guess, and uh, it, I guess you get abilities doing stuff. Um, and actually, like I noticed that uh, I got a certain part of the game where whew, you do more elaborate stuff, and it's really interesting. Like right here, like you can scan this stuff and you read it. A good reminder. And then Use it, the is, I guess you're Cooper the controlling room. the cameras and you know reading these kind of things. You know I me, mean, it's really interesting. So we're gonna go to number three. Oh no, pin pin code required. Alright, so then we go to the camera. And I would I know this 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 is pretty cool. I'm gonna show you right now, you got hack in it. Pretty cool stuff. Watch this. Ah, there's another pa look, there's another there's another prisoner. Look at this. Go on there. There we go. Scan that and then you just find more stuff to read. There's like more story it like you it's like you're basically finding if you could find like your little collectibles basically the collectibles are telling you the story and it's pretty interesting it makes collectibles valid in a game like this to tell you more of the story to find it's not a necessity to get to the game but you know it's very very unique to to throw it in there like you know what find this you're gonna figure out the game so here we go and you save it and this is how you do it you use the touchpad right you actually use the touchpad they made some use out of this fucking thing in the controller so you hit the touchpad you hit it you hit inventory and like this is where all your stuff is at you know metamorphosis or uh, metal mom yeah metamorphosis that's you and then like there's gonna be like other people I guess other people that are considered like that that person I guess infected or something a part of the whole deal and then you got banned books and you got there's nothing here yet and then there's a bunch of new Zager tapes I guess there are more collectible things and it tells you more of a backstory once you find them and we're gonna I'm gonna show you a few as time goes on data this is like the statistics and stuff this is the finding hope finding hope it just takes you back to her you know what I mean and then the map this is actually pretty cool look you can actually see the whole map as it's mapped out it's pretty interesting I know so let's see look at this you know what I mean like okay after this hallway there's a corridor and you see it and then there's an end of the room you're actually gonna check that out so let's go back okay we're gonna go to that camera forget the girl I'm gonna move on forward a little bit alrighty it gets dark Alrighty. I once spent some time stuffed yeah, in a locker. That's pretty cool, like how this Cooper gives you an inside you, story of himself, I, I guess, and in high school. you know the posters and shit. But these are these things you find are actually little hints for you. It's things you can do. You can actually highlight on a uh, you can hide on a locker or a vent. It's pretty interesting. All right, so look here we go. You're right here, San Sandra. Look, 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 this is a cool thing. You hit L1. And you go up, and then you find details about that security guard, Jose Sanchez. Here's the interesting thing I've been noticing. Now, you know, Alice has, you know, his, he was Don Fubar, medical history, PTSD, borderline personality disorder. Okay, cool. It's interesting. And now, oh, and now look at the charges. See, like racketeering and personating a public official. Like, it looks like. Like what these security people are doing, like or like this co this cult, 
you know, government, whatever, they take, like, they take people that done wrong, and I guess they fucking, they erase their brain, and then they program them, like, like, brainwashing, so it's pretty fucking crazy, if, if you know, if that's, that's the case, but I like, you know, here's a little Easter egg, this game was actually kick, a, a Kickstarter, and he was <laughs> the Kickstarter backer, so, like, he probably was the person, because these, pe- these pictures look pretty good. But uh, this game was actually kickstarted. You know what I mean? It was a Kickstarter for it. It did it great, and they made it. They made it. So twenty dollars a pop for a game, and it's pretty cool. But I don't know if it was him or not. If he was actually part of that or something. But you know what? That's pretty interesting. And I like how the flag is there and everything. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. But it looks like I can't move on forward, so I gotta actually get the girl back. So let's go back. And the way to go back to her too is another way. Is uh, you just hit L3, okay? You just hit L3 and you go back to her. So hit R1, and you're back to the main main screen, and then you just keep walking. Yes, yes, it, she's still crouched. Alrighty, here we go. Hello. Cooper is actually talking to you. Is pretty interested. Please do not be alarmed by the sound of my voice. My name's Cooper. I am communicating with you in text-to-speech because it is too risky for me to use my real voice. I am the one who found the phone in the girl's room just a moment ago. I've returned the phone to her because she is in danger. And the thing is, this Cooper is actually talking to you. That's the interesting thing. He's giving like a story and like, I guess it's like an intro thing or something. It seems you wish to help her, too. I do not presume that you are as technically inclined as I am. So I will skip the occupational lingo and get directly to the point. The phone she's carrying is a link, giving you access to our facility's online network. It is called... OmniView. By entering OmniView, you can easily move from one camera to another. To keep the girl out of it's sight, pretty interesting. You'll like, need to scout it's like an automated voice. Like, have you ever heard of that that group, uh, the Anonymous? How they do it? They use like an automated digital voice of uh, recording of someone else or a uh, program. To block it out, it's it's pretty. The interesting. rest I'll explain as you go. And I like the little faces they put. Good like, luck. You know? <laughs> I'm it sure makes it a little funny and a little kind of in this place. Like, with it, so it won't be just like okay, just dialogue. So it's 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 a little touch, you know. The little things do matter. That was a joke, by the way. There we go. Sometimes my humor gets lost in translation. All right, back to the game. Let's start moving. Sanchez. Yes, madam. Don't forget okay. to give her the sodium thiamine. What is that drink. noise? I guess they're talking over there or something. Objection. Yes, madam. Okay. Here we go. See, we can actually advance now. So let's go use that camera inside there. And then look, there's a scan in here. So we're gonna we're gonna load that up. Four, three, Looks one, like eight. one of my colleagues has left a pin code sitting out for everyone to see. I long for the days when basic common sense was a prerequisite for gainful employment. All right. R1. Yeah, I already looked at him already, whatever. So we're going to go ahead and move on.
so we're gonna go ahead and go about here and just uh, get her All right. actually you know what let's go back and get that passcode done and yes it does it does do a transition once um, once you do that so you hit the code it's been used she goes in she's good all right so we already unlocked this so she can just search it it's pretty easy it's mechanics you know man. it's nothing too complicated it's maybe it may be like monotonous like i guess to some people because due to the fact that like they want more like simplicity i guess or they want more complication things you know what i mean you know but this is pretty good i can't complain uh let's see oh shit Over there. The steel. Let go of me. There we go. And then you go <laughs> burn his eyes, and then I'm gonna pickpocket him. Let's see what he's carrying. I got something. Oh my god. I actually got shovel knight. That's pretty cool. All right, look. You can look at your goodies right now. Hit the hit that button, the R1, and then just hit this inventory stuff. And it, t it gives you a little story. Look. As a certified Kickstarter addict. My humble key resender is filled with enough side-scrolling chiptune games to fill a lifetime's worth of the Reagan era. Shovel Knight is one of the good ones though, an 8-bit homage that marries old-school platforming with cutting-edge game design. I cry a little tear whenever I lose my hard-earned gold after a clumsy mistake, and I love it. If 2014 had a baby with 1989, she'd look a whole lot like Shovel Knight. <laughs> I, I had to level. That's pretty damn funny. Because Shovel Knight is a pretty good game. It was a Kickstarter game, too. And it does show up some stuff and of different games. But that is pretty interesting. Look at this. See, there's a lot of floppy disks out there. But it, it shows like a, from a bunch of companies. And um, it's pretty cool. I guess that's the reason why I guess it was partnering with a bunch of people. But this, like I said, it was that was another Kickstarter game, too. But, um, yeah. Alrighty, so we're going to go a little further. And uh, we're gonna go in. Alrighty. Alrighty, so now we're gonna search this. And you can tell there's someone over there, see? You pepper see? Spray. It? More pepper spray. That's it, there's nothing else. Alright. And you can hide right there in that locker. So we're gonna go over here. Definitely here. Better raise the threat level. She's definitely here or whatever, okay. There's a hiding. There's a pickup. Found some pepper spray. Alrighty. You can alternate from left to right on your uh, di uh your D D pad basically. Sorry. Alrighty. We're gonna go see the camera. You learn something, another thing you learn. Beware, pick Recently. Pockets. The children in Metamorphosis have become. Uh, pickpocketing is pretty good. It's not too complicated like in uh, sure. Fallout, where you know pickpocketing is is a pain in the ass because like you have to have like so much luck to do it and whatever. But it is there, and this is actually pretty cool because due to the fact that it helps you get more stuff like goodies and and collectibles in the game. So all right, let's go over here. Alrighty. See, see, I like, I can't even lock this over there. See, it has to be like current version. Yeah, that's only a version away, but still. So then we're gonna we're gonna scan that. Got him. And uh, I guess they so killed a firefight fire with, with uh, Prizak or Prizak. The depravity of this man was boundless. Uh, Let's remove the comments. Pretty interesting because it. I'm telling you, everything you find in this game is giving you more backstory. This is just what they were talking about earlier. This way, it suggests or, um, he was given a sporting yeah. chance. When the surveillance video the of this day surfaces, had, like, in the and it will, it's going to require major surgery. This is like pretty much the beginning. Like it's, it's just, uh, it goes on, you know what I mean? If you're really into those movie kind of games, you know, press buttons kind of deal, That's that. if that's your kind of deal, that's, you're going to like it, you know. We got another one, Milton uh, Karogan. It's, you know, black, black eyes. I guess. Uncle Militi or Militai and a comedian. No medical no medical history, no charges. That's nice. That's cool. 
it's interesting, you know what I mean? And you could go over here and explore, you know, I can't get there, you know. Let's see, we're in the another camera. It's fucking this game is just there's just so much to do. And you know, every the little bit it just is warranted in this case. You know, it just goes a on. But it, it takes I guess it takes a, a special kind of person. A dozen because I have I'm gonna really wrap this up. It takes I guess it takes a really down. a special kind of person to enjoy this kind of game. Because due to the fact that, you know, people like to, they don't like to take their time. Despite some being obnoxious, do, some this poster don't. makes a valid some point. Say, fuck the game, I just the girl beat is it. less likely you know, to let's blow some shit up and if you walk softly. And some people just say, you know, story is just retarded, but um, recently, the children and metamorphosis have you know, become more, more brazen seen, in their attempts that. to take things but from you will, the But I guess you're, you're starting to Surely, see like repeats this was of, these, influence. of these posters, but it doesn't mean it's much of a problem. Unlocked. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go back to her. And I'm going to actually start wrapping it up. I guess we're going to see how, um, how this plays out. What the? I'm pursuing the girl. Alright, fuck it. Okay, so we got caught. Fuck it. Alright, combat. Here we go. So basically, you get, you get attacked. The, the attack prompt comes up. In pursuit of 3908. Let go of me! No, there you go. See? I'm robbing this guy, and I got another game. It's pretty cool. But, um, that security, though, it comes on. No, no joke. Let's go into the atrium, and then there's probably, like, a door over here, and you can't get through it. You really can't. This is a level one, as you see. Um, and I'm not in that version. But, yeah, you have a running button. It's R2. You gotta get on with it, because shit, you know, shit's gonna get crazy. Come on, you stupid. There we go. Yeah, you gotta get used to the controls, though, on this. But it's pretty interesting. But, uh, let's see. Here we go. I think this is a way back. Here we go. Charge it up. Good idea. My All good is stuff. Alright. Nothing too bad. And that's basically it, guys. You know what I mean? And, oh yeah, and I'm gonna show you one more thing before I go. Collected contraband is up by 47% in recent months. For a secure location, you would be surprised by what we find in their pockets. Yeah, like uh, this is this is where you actually go get money. Hey this is there. where you get money. You to, just found uh, a data broker terminal. These are located throughout the facility. The gonna tell you, but it, this is where you go to get money. You know? Any data you collect this, by this scanning is where items it, like, scans all the things you've been looking at, and be uh, it data gives you money. So then it will prompt ability. up uh, an update thing. Like uh, abilities upgrade. are valuable tools for gathering and so, assuming control. Yeah, skip all that. We found all that stuff. This is how much we're gonna get. 225, alright, sell data. And now we have three upgrades, so let's check it out. See? Oh, that's shit, you know, that's pretty cool. It, it offers this kind of stuff. Eavesdrop is more like it's a uh, another thing. It's too. It adds more things to you, and you could just eavesdrop on the on the voicemails. I guess. Monitor, I, dig, I guess this is like when you like you see their patterns, and then it comes up on your map. Like here we go. See, so when you go to that that the uh, when you go to the, like the all C nine mode, I guess you you see where they go. So that's pretty cool. And the last but not least, I think it's just a scan email kind of deal. More ways to get, make more money as you scan. So that's cool. There's a way to upgrade and way to make the game a lot more fluent. But uh, it's pretty cool. I like it. But sorry to see you go. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. I like that. I like that a lot. But um, and I like this too. Look at this. Security advisory system. Because we alerted those guys, let's like, see it went down. And it's interesting. Look at that, see, so it's it's actually pretty good. Pretty calm. So it it, it even interacts with you as, as time goes on and all that. So that's that's pretty cool. But you know, down to what it's worth, if honestly, if you're really into those movie time, real time kind of games, you just hit a button and you're like, okay, this is gonna happen, or this you know, it's gonna happen. This is not really a choice. This is like you're gonna play through along, and you got to find a bunch of things, 
and you need to find those things because they're an essential because they upgrade so i like that how they implement that you know the graphics you know it's 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 not like top notch you know fucking witcher 3 Sh uh, shadow of mordor and all that bullshit so it's it's but they're they're doable they're doable so down at, to my point you know, like i said uh if you're really more into those real time kind of things to do this stuff and then actually interact and you know and doing this all c and i kind of stuff like this that's that's badass i i honestly think that's pretty cool how they implement that but guys i have enough that's all the time i got for today look it's worth it for y'all guys out there you want to try a small game go ahead and try it out hey it's free better trophies easy, easy trophies how you say and you get you get your stealth fix for a good while but anyways guys i gotta go this is rocky 210 um i'm gonna go get caught i guess but anyways i'll see you next time peace out guys